Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Well, guess what? I don't have to be on camera tonight. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, so here's some of the coasters from my previous video. Um, hopefully you kept, you actually got to watch that or at least saw these somewhere. I know I kind of need to do a little bit better job of showing y'all the finished products and everything and these turned out so wonderful and epoxy is so great as long as it works right. That, that's the one stickler right there as long as it works and here's the 12 by 12 from one of my other videos my OCDness is killing me just because there's a particle on that one so I will have to redo that one and I got a couple other things to show you I went ahead and uh, I've done some fun stuff here lately I guess and, or at least attempting to do some fun things I want to go ahead and show you this one off I went ahead and put some varnish on it I still love how this one turned out it just reminds me of some type of eye of like a lizard or something I don't know why but that's just what I see um, also something new never done this never worked with molds I did a domino set mold um, didn't record it or anything like that um, I don't even play dominoes the funny part about that but this was just a test um, I kind of uh, Tinted the uh, epoxy with TLPs, one of the TLP colors, and also I used another mica powder to get the black, and we got the dots and stuff painted on there and all that, and also the box got painted uh, Mickey Mouse just because my in-laws like Mickey Mouse and everything Disney World. I don't know why, but they do. But that was for them. Um, I didn't paint the box. I don't have enough patience for that let alone doing any type of walls or anything but uh, my wife went and painted those and also been doing some necklaces somebody was supposed to be doing this instead of me but I got tired of waiting I'm very impatient y'all um, I'm not gonna name any names but they know who I'm talking about and there's this one honestly it's not this one's not glued down or anything like that so I just put it in a set just to see what it looked like and there's also this one as well um, so yeah, I did that, and you know, it's, I don't know, I don't know what to think about all that stuff. Domino sets, and the necklaces, and everything like that. So if anybody has any input, I'd appreciate it a lot. Um, also, don't forget, if you are a U.S. resident, you might want to check out my giveaway video and comment. Um, I'll do a link up above, but that's ending on july 12th more than likely around 6 a.m central time is about what time i'm headed to work or at work more than likely um but nevertheless uh go ahead and check that out i'm doing like a coaster giveaway or an eight by eight um past that let's see here this this actually i've, I've seen this color combination mainly the one that comes to mind is Lisa Marvin, but there are a couple other people I've seen this go since uh, she's done it. And you know what? I loved how they turned out. You know, you know how we are. We see a color combination, we just got to do it. Take a screenshot and try later whenever we have time. And this is one of those times. Um, so with this one, my colors are don't don't kill me now. I don't I didn't write down some of these colors names, so just bear with me. Uh, the black is just a tube paint. This is not a cell activator right now. The cell activator will be right before I blow it out. But uh, the yeah, black is just a normal tube paint. I don't really know which one it was. Uh, now I did a couple of like, different golds. Uh, there's TLP Harvest Gold. There's Golden Fluid Acrylics uh, Iridescent Gold. There's Color Arts Interference Gold. There's also an Arteza gold that was kind of uh, in between the dark deep gold and the iridescent gold. I was trying to give like an in between, like a fade of it, I guess you would say. Um, I also added lemon sorbet, which is a TLP color. Uh, they were nice enough to send out a free sample of that, and I just haven't gotten around to using it because I normally don't use the yellow type uh, colors, but this one, the lemon sorbet in the light shimmery light or whatever it kind of gives a little bit of a gold and also I added some white don't know which white it's probably Amsterdam titanium white now on this one I did leave uh, me blowing out the cell activator on these because honestly I thought I did pretty good at blowing these out from if I don't say so myself on that one but 
Um, I did speed this up by 2x because, you know, this is just like watching birds paint dry. Uh, you're watching the cells form and everything. and You know, that's probably the best part for me is just watching the cells form and see what you get, you know. So, past that. Before I spin these hexagons out, uh, like I mentioned before, I like to at least make sure there is paint on all the corners leading down to the spinner only because... Um, yeah, they, it can make bubbles and stuff like that. So there's that. Pardon me. I'm trying to fix my camera wherever it's uh, more center for you. Um, and, you know, some of these little extra black spots I don't really like. But I don't know. I try to spin off the extra cell activator if I can. Um, that's, that's just me being quirky, I guess. Um, now, I will say this. You know, I'm going to show you a little close-up of this one real quick. I mean, honestly, the gold is there. I mean, look at that. I mean, pretty much nothing to popping. So I know these are going to look awesome underneath there with some epoxy on them. They're going to look fabulous. And I will uh, try to show you those um, at some point this week because uh, I already got epoxy on them. They're just uh, can't touch right now. So there's that. Um, past that, uh, I'll go back to the necklaces that I did. You know, I've, I've tried doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that, trying to do those things by, you know, cutting the paint skins and gluing it. And honestly, I don't like doing that. That, that is a pain in the butt. I, I don't see how, <laughs> I don't see how you all do that. This is such a pain, at least for me. Um, so what I did is I got some sticky tack. And I put that on the end of a like a pencil or something, and then I got the glass thing and put it on the sticky tack, and I just dipped it in wet paint, and then I sealed it with the uh, diamond glaze glue, and then I glued that to at least the one that I did do the uh, setting with uh, E6000 glue. So again, I really don't know what to think about the necklaces and everything. They're really it's really not my thing. So. But I got a lot of paint skins. And I, I go through a lot of paint. So if I can make extra stuff out of that, I'm going to do it. Um, again, this is lemon sorbet. I don't know. It's growing on me a little bit. They're making me want to buy more paint. That's just wrong, right? Um, trying to think of something else I need to tell you all. Um, got a couple of things coming up. Actually, with the 2,000 subscribers, I am in the process of setting up my Amazon store. So I know that it's in my link tree. Uh, it's in there and everything like that. It's, just, it's not finished, but it is a work in progress. So forgive me with that if any of y'all check that out. Um, got a lot of things coming up. I still have about one, two, three, three or four things I, I need to do my videos for and not to mention on the, the 12th I'll have to do the drawing so again here we go with the blowout now I did with these I tried to make well if you think of it most of these colors are the only things that aren't like or that aren't like pigments or float acrylics is the black and the white and then the Arteza paint. The rest of them are fluid or pigments. And they're really uh, thin. Or at least I made them thinner than normal. Just because, you know, you watch these videos of certain people blowing out their paint and their cell activator. And it's just like a Dutch pour almost. And you just see it flying across and doing everything you want it to do. So I've tried to uh, thin down my paints a little bit. At least it worked for me because um, we're always fighting weather around here but I, honestly I think I found a good medium at least for working with my weather and the consistency of the paints and you know me I don't I don't measure so there is that um, yeah I'm trying to get off that last bit of cell activator on one of those edges because you know I just don't like that um, I still think these are gonna turn out so great. Honestly, I you know what I know they turned out great because I already know. But I already have my paint mix to do something bigger. 
I don't know if I'm gonna do a 12 by 12 or, or what, but I wanna do something bigger with this whole uh, paint combination. So th that will come up later. I'll probably do a swipe or something. You know, that's one thing I haven't done. I haven't done a, yeah, I don't normally do swipes. I've been doing blowouts and blow dryers and stuff, so maybe I'll do a swipe. But um, I will put on some uh, music. I'll check back with you in a minute and I'll quit rambling. <laughs>
All right, so I'm back, everybody. Um, honestly, I just love how these turned out, and this one is actually my favorite one. It just has more of the black in the cells. Um, past that, you know, you know, I, I haven't said this one or haven't told you all, but you know, doing that giveaway video, it took me about fifty times to get it right. I don't even see how certain people can talk and paint and do all that. That is just beyond me. There's too many distractions in my house and too many interruptions. But, yeah, see, this one is my favorite. I like this one the most. Um, I'll get you down for a closer look here in a second. Um, also, later on this week, probably to the day after tomorrow or something like that, Thursday or something, I don't know. Um, I will post on my social media if you're following me what these actually look like with epoxy on them so here's a close look um, hope you enjoyed the video everybody uh, if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe I would appreciate it again take care everybody thank you for watching